Hello friends, welcome to arpitakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for English literature. Now today we'll understand the story of one of the most famous classic novels, Wuthering Heights, written by Emily Bront. Now it's a gothic novel written in Victorian period precisely in 1847. The plot is set in late 18th and 19th century England. If you talk about the point of view, there is nothing fixed. Different characters are telling the story at different points of time. Apart from this, uh, in this novel you will find romanticism, realism, secrets, wild landscapes and a lot of different interesting elements. And friends, in this novel the hero, he is driven by passion and revenge. It adds a new dimension to the concept of suffering. And in this work Emily Bront also creates a fictional place called Egdon Heath. Now friends let us discuss the major characters of the novel before we dive into the story. Now first we have Mr Lockwood he is the tenant at Thrush Cross Grange. Second is Edgar Linton who is the original owner of Thrush Cross Grange and Isabella Linton uh, she is Edgar's sister. Mr Earnshaw original owner of Wuthering Heights. Hindley he is Mr Earnshaw's son. Hareton is Hindley's son. Catherine Mr Earnshaw's daughter. Heathcliff He is the current owner of the Thrush Cross Grange and Mr Earnshaw's adopted son. Then Cathy, Edgar and Catherine's daughter, Linton is Heathcliff and Isabella's son, and Nellie is the housekeeper at Wuthering Heights. Ah, <sighs> so a lot of complicated names and a lot of uh, you know interconnections. So what do you do? You just give it some time and. try to understand each person's uh, connection see in the story board we have also divided it into two parts so the thrush cross grange and wuthering heights for your understanding ki kaun kahan ka hai and who is where and how they are cross connected also kyunki agar aap isko टेक्स्ट फॉर्म में याद करने की कोशिश करोगे रटने की कोशिश करोगे कि एडगल इंटरनेट गल इंटर नो 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 दैट विल नॉट हेल्प इट्स बेटर इफ़ यू यू नो फोटोग्राफिकली ट्राई टू मेमोराइज दिस स्टोरी बोर्ड इट विल बी ऑलवेज ईजियर नाउ वंस यू हैव यू नो गॉट अ ग्रैस्प ऑफ द कैरेक्टर्स लेट्स गेट इन टू द स्टोरी So friends the story starts with a gentleman named Mr Lockwood he has come to live at a place called Thrush Cross Grange on rental basis to basic ye to aapko samajh lena hai ki do jagahon ki baat chalegi yahan pe Thrush Cross Grange and Wuthering Heights these are the two places about which there will be a regular mention now some people are staying in Thrush Cross Grange some people are staying in Wuthering Heights so this is keep happening so just get those uh, names clear for the two places first and then who लिवस वेयर वो धीरे धीरे आपको विद द फ्लो ऑफ द स्टोरी समझ आ जाएगा नाउ द नेम ऑफ मिस्टर लॉकवुड्स लैंड लॉर्ड इज मिस्टर हेथ क्लिफ द लैंड लॉर्ड लिवस नियर बाय इन अ प्लेस कॉल्ड वुदरिंग हाइट्स तो जो उसका ओनर है जो लैंड लॉर्ड है ही लिवस इन वुदरिंग हाइट्स एंड उसकी जो खुद की जगह है जो वो रेंट पे देता है दैट इज थ्रश क्रॉस ग्रेंज एंड हु इज दैट पर्सन मिस्टर हेथ क्लिफ नाउ मिस्टर लॉकवुड ही विजिट्स मिस्टर हेथ क्लिफ इन वुदरिंग हाइट्स ट्वाइस The first time he goes to meet his landlord Mr Heathcliff gives him a cold shoulder and does not nicely talk to him. And the second time Mr Lockwood visits his landlord the landlord's dog tried to attack him. So Mr Lockwood gets scared and what does someone do when they are scared? They run away. So he also tries to run from Wuthering Heights but exactly then he sees some ghostly apparitions in Wuthering Heights. Now Mr Lockwood is scared but he is also very curious. So there's a housekeeper who's working for Mr Heathcliff. Her name is Nelly and Mr Lockwood asks Nelly to tell him about the past of the house and Wuthering Heights. So he wants to inquire about Wuthering Heights basically. And with this the main story of Wuthering Heights starts. Now listen very carefully because what we are going to discuss is the story which is told by Nelly to Mr Lockwood. Now she tells him that uh, there used to be two families. Earnshaw family and Linton family. Nelly first describes the Earnshaw family. The family was headed by Mr. Earnshaw, a gentleman. He was the owner of Wuthering Heights. He had two children, a boy named Hindley and a girl named Catherine. Mr. Earnshaw adopted a third child. His name was Heathcliff. Now, the biological son of Mr. Earnshaw, that is Hindley, was very jealous of Heathcliff. 
Now you must be thinking why this jealousy? Because Mr. Earnshaw and Catherine used to love Heathcliff a lot. मतलब अपने बायोलॉजिकल बच्चों से ज्यादा प्यार अडॉप्टेड सन को मिल रहा था अंडरस्टैंडिंग द जेलसी हिंडले हैड फॉर हेथक्लिफ मिस्टर अर्न शॉ सेंट हिंडले अवे टू स्टडी सो आफ्टर हिंडले वॉज गॉन कैथरीन एंड हेथक्लिफ दे वर स्टिल स्टेइंग टुगेदर एंड गेटिंग टू नो इच अदर एंड दे वर गेटिंग क्लोज टू इच अदर सो आई होप इट्स क्लियर वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट वन फैमिली दैट इज अर्न शॉ फैमिली जिसमें हस्बैंड वाइफ एंड देर टू चिल्ड्रन अ बॉय एंड अ गर्ल एंड एन अडोप्टेड सन हु इज मिस्टर हेथक्लिफ जो अभी हमारा प्रेजेंट ओनर है थ्रश क्रॉस ग्रीनज का आई होप आई एम मेकिंग सेंस Now what happens uh, Mr Earnshaw passed away now after his father's death Hindley came back and he came back with his wife to wo shaadi karke aaya so after he came back he started taking control of his father's property including Wuthering Heights though he came back after a lot of years his anger and jealousy for Heathcliff was still the same so since Hindley had powers because his father was dead and he had all the control what he did was he stopped the education of Heathcliff and started treating him like a servant After a while Hindley's wife gave birth uh, to a boy however Hindley's wife died during childbirth so Hindley named the boy Hareton he will have a role later but for now we can keep the character away just remember ki Hareton is Hindley's son after the death of his father and wife Hindley became free he used to drink alcohol do gambling and ill treat and abuse Heathcliff so basically uh, there is a you know complete control by Hindley the biological son of uh, mr earnshaw but because mr earnshaw has passed away he has come back with a wife and now the wife is also dead so he's basically doing all sorts of you know he's creating a ruckus there he's taking control of the property he's gambling he's drinking alcohol and what not and giving trouble to heathcliff moving ahead we'll talk about linton family now because uh, remember nelly was telling the story to mr lockwood who is mr lockwood the tenant now nelly tells uh, mr lockwood that linton family was a very well to do family of thrush cross grange family bhi nahi hai aur area bhi naya hai abhi tak hum wuthering heights ki aur earnshaw family ki baat kar rahe the now we are talking about thrush cross grange and the linton family now linton family also had two children a boy and a girl boy was edgar girl was isabella Now Catherine and Heathcliff of Earnshaw family were getting too interested in the Linton family especially Catherine because she had spent 5 weeks with the Linton family she was drawn closer to Edgar basically love stories are uh, getting made now because he was rich handsome educated so she was falling for him now there's a twist despite all of this like uh, Edgar having all the qualities of a um, you know eligible bachelor for marriage she still liked Heathcliff her um, adopted brother Mo so one day Catherine was telling Nelly the housekeeper who is narrating the story at the present moment that she cannot get married to Heathcliff because her brother Hindley has insulted him a lot now Heathcliff overheard this conversation and gets extremely hurt and sad that night he runs away from Wuthering Heights after Heathcliff ran away Catherine got extremely lonely and she got married to Edgar and after the wedding Catherine moves to Thrush Cross Grange तो फ्रॉम वुदरिंग टू थ्रश क्रॉस माइका टू ससुराल हो गया है अब उसका थ्रश क्रॉस क्रेंज नाउ हेथक्लिफ रैन अवे बट नॉट परमानेंटली आफ्टर सम इयर्स ही केम बैक टू वुदरिंग हाइट्स नाउ ही वॉज रिच हैड अ गुड स्टेटस बट ही ऑल्सो हैड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ईगो देर वॉज जस्ट वन थिंग इन इज हेड एंड दैट वॉज रिवेंच badle ki aag now when hethcliff came to wuthering heights catherine got so excited to see him her husband edgar tried to calm her down but she was unstoppable and got extremely happy on the other hand hethcliff saw that hindley was completely destroyed because of his gambling habits now to hethcliff's surprise hindley welcomes him warmly to wuthering heights why because hindley knows that he has money he is powerful so it's better that i behave properly now Catherine told Heathcliff that her husband's sister Isabella likes him and they should get married. However, Catherine and Heathcliff still had feelings for each other even after all those years. So when Catherine and Heathcliff meet again, they hug each other very tightly. Now her husband Edgar did not like this behavior and he gets furious. He gave two options to Catherine. 
either choose Heathcliff or choose Edgar. Catherine got very upset over this. She locked herself in a room for three days and did not eat anything. On the third day, Catherine got so sick that she thought she'd die. On the same night, Heathcliff and Isabella they ran away and got married. For the next two months, Edgar took care of Catherine. She got pregnant and remained unwell. Now, what happens is after getting married, Heathcliff ill-treated Isabella. Now you must be thinking that what did she do? You are right. She did nothing. Isabella could not even get back to Edgar. Why? Because after her marriage to Heathcliff, Edgar ended their relationship of brother and sister, and because Edgar was insecure that through Isabella Heathcliff might want to take over his property in Thrushcross Grange, so he broke all ties with his sister. So one day Heathcliff went to see Catherine to ask about her health. Edgar came there at that exact moment, and he thought there was an affair between Catherine and Heathcliff. So that night, Catherine gave birth to a baby girl, and sadly, Catherine died during the childbirth. The baby was named Cathy. Catherine was buried at the place where she and Heathcliff used to play back in their childhood. Now, after two days, Isabella ran away to London to get away from Heathcliff. There, she gave birth to a baby boy named Linton. Hindley had taken a lot of loans from Heathcliff, so in return, he took Wuthering Heights since Hindley was unable to pay the loan. Now, the owner of Wuthering Heights is Heathcliff. Now, after becoming the owner, Heathcliff started ill-treating and abusing Hindley the same way Hindley used to treat Heathcliff. So, charo aur se badla le raha. Just just ne usko parishan kiya. He is just sorting everyone out. Now, aisa karte karte, twelve years have passed by. Catherine's daughter Cathy grew up to a beautiful woman. Hindley's son Hareton was ill-treated just like him by Heathcliff. Linton, who was Heathcliff's son, was called back by his uncle Edgar from London. As I told you before, Linton was born in London, and Heathcliff wanted Linton to stay with him, whereas Edgar wanted Linton to stay with him. So Heathcliff also wanted Linton to get close to Cathy, who was Catherine's daughter. Edgar initially did not allow the two to meet, but with time, Edgar's health also became bad, and he allowed Cathy to meet Linton. When the two met, they came close. Heathcliff wanted Cathy and Linton to get married to each other. Meanwhile, Edgar passed away. Edgar was buried adjacent to Catherine. Cathy got very lonely after the death of her father. She started living with Heathcliff and Linton. Now, after some time, even Linton passed away. So a lot of deaths are happening. Heathcliff became the owner of Thrushcross Grange also. Cathy was living with him forcefully. Hareton was also living with them. Now to the present day. With this, the story being told by Nelly to Mr. Lockwood comes to an end. Now we'll talk about the present. After hearing the story, Catherine appears in Mr. Lockwood's dream, beating at a window, wailing, "Let me in!" and blood running down her wrist. Mr. Lockwood goes to London. He comes back after six months and finds out that Cathy and Hareton are in love. Even Heathcliff does not have a problem with that. Heathcliff could see him and Catherine in Hareton and Cathy. There was a time when Heathcliff was poor and uneducated, and still Catherine loved me. And similarly, Hareton is also poor and uneducated, and Cathy loves him. So Heathcliff also dies after a while. He is buried on the other side of Catherine, and in the end, Cathy Hareton get married and go to Thrushcross Grange. <laughs> so basically, uh, wherever a relation was not possible, उस character को मार दिया गया. And conveniently, जो भी problem create करा था जिसकी भी life में, very conveniently they just removed them from the scene only. Anyway, with this, the story comes to the end. Now I'll tell you some facts and quotes uh, regarding this work. This is the only finished novel of Emily Bront, and it's a romance between crude and ferocious Heathcliff and passionate Catherine, whose bond continues despite Catherine's passing away, and the memories continue until the death of Heathcliff. Some important lines are: "Do I want to live? Would you like to live with your soul in the grave? Be with me always. Take any form. Drive me mad." Only do not leave me in this abyss where I cannot find you. In my soul and in my heart, I'm convinced I'm wrong. Honest people don't hide their deeds. So these are the lines that you should remember. And with this, we end this little long chapter. And 
I hope you enjoyed it and we'll meet soon in the next one till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com